This is a lesson on estimating percents, um, chapter 5, section 5. There's really no other way to get around some pain here, and that painful part is you have to memorize these facts. If you're going to be good at estimating, you have to know some facts to help you out. The good news about that is, if you can remember that percent means out of 100, some of these blocks fill in pretty easily. 1%, that means out of 100, 1 out of 100. 10% is 10 out of 100, which reduces to 1 tenth. 100% 100 is 100 out of 100, which is 1. This block is also easy because you're so used to working with quarters, as in the coin that's worth 25 cents. So a 25 cents, 25 out of 100, is a quarter. 50 cents would be two quarters, two quarters, which reduces to a half. If you have 75 cents, which is like 75 out of 100, where a dollar is a hundred cents, 75% would take three quarters. So this is pretty easy to, to use some connections that you already have. If you can remember that, you have to memorize this one, 20% is one-fifth. If you double 20%, you get 40%. If you double one-fifth, you have two-fifths. So if you get this basic one, you can generate the rest of the um, fractions that go with 20, 40, 60, 80, counting by 20s, counting by fifths. 20%, one-fifth, double 20, 40%, double one-fifth, two-fifths. 20%, one-fifth, multiply that by three, you get 60. Multiply this by three, you get three-fifths. Every time you add a fifth, you add 20%. Every time you add 20%, you add one-fifth. You have to memorize this one. 12 and a half percent is one-eighth. But you could also say, wait, 12 and a half is half of 25. And half of one-fourth is one-eighth. So you can use this fact to help you remember this one. This is not in the chart in your book, which, by the way, does, this does appear in your book, this whole chart, so you can get it off of there. But if you know that five-eighths is four-eighths plus one-eighth, and then four-eighths is a half, and a half is 50%, and an eighth is 12.5%, you can figure out that 5 eighths is the sum of 50 and 12 and a half percent, or 62 and a half percent. You can do that to get 7 eighths also. Um, if you add another 1 fourth to this, you add another uh, 25 percent, add another 1 fourth, or 2 eighths to 5 eighths. So add another 25, you get 87. Um, 87 and a half percent for 7 eighths. 16 two thirds percent is 1 6. You can kind of associate the 1 and the 6 with 16. Be aware that that doesn't work very often. If that worked, you'd say that 5 eighths is 58 percent, but it's not. But it's just a, a clue that can help you remember 1 6, but you also got to remember to tag the two thirds along there. This occurs so often that you probably have it. 1 third is 33 and a third percent. If you double 1 third, you get 2 thirds. If you double 33 and a third, you get 66 and 2 thirds. So, if you have to memorize it, you have to memorize it. You can use some of the memory clues to help you get it. Now we're going to talk about how that applies to estimating percents. There are two kinds of things we're going to talk about. Percent of a number, like 20% of 60. And the part compared to a whole is another thing we'll talk about in a couple minutes. So to find 20% of 60, this is going to be, to get this exact answer, won't even be an estimate. You can remember that of means multiply, and you can just multiply these two digits together. 2 times 6 gives you 12. And then you have to see, is that a reasonable answer? Because it might be 120, or it might be 1.2, or it might be 1,200. Is 20% of 60, is it reasonable to say it's 12? Which comes to the other method you could use to convert 20% to 1 -fifth. You could figure out what one-fifth of 60 is, which would involve dividing 60 into five equal parts. If you do 60 divided by 5, you get 12, which tells you this is the right answer. So there's the two strategies. You can either multiply, or you can use convert the percent to a fraction, and then divide the, the whole thing, which 60 is considered the whole thing, into five parts. If it was 40% of 60, we would do 4 times 6, we know it's 24. That would be 2 fifths, because 40% is 2 fifths. 
Again, you can divide 60 into 5 equal parts. That's 60. Each one would be 12. Which gets to the part that you have to double the 12 to figure out that it's 24. And all this should be, you shouldn't have to draw pictures, just to help you understand why it works. You just do it hopefully really quickly in your head, but it, it comes down to the other thing that if you have this, if you have your multiplication facts memorized, this is not difficult. If you don't have them memorized, it's going to be a lot harder for you. Especially when you want to do 33 and a third percent of 21. Okay, now this is a, you mean you probably don't want to do 33 times 2. But if we did, that would be 66. 66 is obviously not a reasonable answer, maybe 6.6. And that's not a bad estimate, but there's a way to get, on this one again, an exact answer. Think about what fraction is 33 and a third percent? That's right, it's a third. A third of 21. Divide 21 into three equal parts, and each part would be 7. So 6.6 is not a bad estimate, but 7 is the exact answer. Sometimes we're going to uh, just round off our numbers and use compatible numbers to get an estimate. So we want to know 42% uh, of 25. We might remember that 40% is 2 fifths. So we might think of it as 2 fifths of 25. So we've rounded this number. We're, we're finding a compatible number. A number that's close to but not exactly the same as 42%, but it goes pretty well with the 25, because you can split 25 into fifths very nicely, and each one-fifth would have five. Again, if we do the rectangle, that would be five, 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 five. Sorry, but that's pretty big order there. Total of 25, and one-fifth is five, so two-fifths would be two fives or ten. So that's, a, that's just an estimate, because this is rounded off. And that's, the, that's the, the gist of this lesson, is to be able to compare two numbers, and maybe you don't get it exactly, but you get it pretty quickly. So if you went to a restaurant, and your bill was uh, $40, and you want to tip 20%, you want to do 20% of 40, this is really easy to get exactly, you just do 2 times 4, and you would have an $8 tip. Or you could say, well, I know 10% of 40 is 4, and if I double that, I get 8. Or you could say 20% is 1 fifth. And 1 fifth of 40 is 8. If this was $41, you could you probably get by with tipping $8. You might say, oh, I'll do $8.25 because I know it should be a little bit more than $8. Now let's look at what if you're given a part in a whole, like 9 out of 19. And we're going to learn later on that percent. And we want to know what percent this is. That's our goal. Percent is the same as the part compared to the whole. So if we compare 9 to 19, like a ratio, then that's representing the fraction, which would be what 9 out of 19 is 1 out of 100. Well, 9 out of 19, if we round it off, it's about a half. 9 is approximately half of 19. We can round this down to be an 18. So we're looking for compatible numbers. Our goal in this lesson is not to get an exact percent, just to get an idea of what's reasonable. So 50% would be a reasonable estimate for 9 out of 19. How about 10 out of 31? Well, that's close to 10 out of 30, which reduces to one third. So now you have to ask, do you remember? What, one third equals S percent? That's why it's going to be easy if you remember them, have them memorized, you're good to go. If you don't, you have some work to do. You need to memorize the fractions and the percents. The ones that we had up on the board earlier, they're in your book. You just had to memorize them. What if we had 253 out of 499? Well, this is, we want some compatible numbers here. So, Think about what you can round 253 off to, what could you round 499 to, what would be easy to calculate. And I hope you're thinking 250 out of 500. 
because 250 is half of 500, and half is 50%. So the answer here would be 50%. Do one more example. What about 82 out of 324? What percent would that be? Yeah, let's just say, knock that 2 off, knock that 4 off, and we got 8 out of 32. 80 out of 320 is the same as 8 out of 32. 8 out of 32 reduces to 1 fourth. Got that memorized? Sure you do. 25%. It's not exactly 25%, but that's not the goal. We're just trying to estimate what 82 out of 324 would be. So we learned how to do things like 30% of 70 by doing 3 times 7, or 3 tenths times 70. And we learned how to do things like um, 2 out of 5 by saying that's 2 fifths 40%. That's the gist of the lesson.